and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today we are doing three looks, one palette with the Bombshell Cosmetica Oh Hubba Hubba eyeshadow palette. I've had this one for a little while, but it was about time to bust it out. <laughs> the last look goes a bit haywire, but we'll be doing voiceover and I'll have a chat with you after. All right, hey, hey, we're here for look number one. Going on the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm just quickly patting this down onto both eyes. And then using orange, I'm going onto my outer corner and the outer edge in that crease and just trying to sort of triangle sandwich it in. That brush just wasn't doing it for me, so I've gone into the e.l.f. crease brush and I am now using that to pack onto the outer corner and go underneath the eye, bringing that up around and just trying to blend it in. This orange is becoming the star of the show very quickly. Now I'm going into the colour next to it and that's sweet. I've just quickly dabbed that on and realised it looks quite similar to orange. So moving into Sour, which is this blue shimmery shade, I'm just packing it down. It doesn't have quite the punch I was expecting, so we're giving it a little spritz with the Fix Plus. And then going back in, and we're getting a nice little punchy punch with it now. I'm just putting this all over the lid, and it's sort of just going to be an orange-blue look for today. Now I'm using Blast, and this is a gold shade that I'm just putting on my inner corner, just to give it a little bit of extra standout. And we are finished. I've used the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara to bring this look together and done. So now on to look number two. Laying down the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre for our base today and then I'm going in with the shade Peaches which is this creamy little shade in the middle. Just lightly putting this above my crease and then heading into Chewy which is this shade here. I really like this colour. It looks quite good and it's blending out beautifully. Now we are moving in to the shade Grape and I'm using this to blend onto the outer corner and build up on that shade Chewy just for some extra dimension to this look. I really like this combo and they are doing quite a nice job together. I'm then still going in with Grape a bit more and now we've gone into some shimmers and I'm picking up Bubblegum just to dab on the outer corner and then I'm putting that on the inner corner and I'm sort of going to be creating a halo eye today with this beautiful shade. Then I'm going into the shade Tart, which is a light shade, and putting that in the center of my lid. Then using Grape, I'm just going underneath my eye and now to the waterline with Piggy Bank from Colourpop. I love this purple. It really has a bang. Then I'm going on my Stamp It from Australis and we're stamping a wing on today. I'm using the texture from the Australis Stamp It liner just to do a little wing. It is quite large for my tiny little eyes, but I think I do an okay job. What do you reckon? Love to hear your thoughts. Now I've uh, forgotten to put anything on my inner corner, so I'm using Tarte. I showed it better to you on the other eye, so that's why you're seeing a different eye. Now going back in with L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I'm showing you this time, just because, why not? And we are putting it on my eyes. I did do a few more coats, and here is the final look. Not too shabby. And after that, we have found ourselves at the final look, going in with Grape. And I'm using the card that I got with my Cleon Day Arcaeo palette to sort of try and build a sharp edge. I think I sort of failed, but I'm glad I was barefaced for this first attempt with this technique. I'm still just trying to build up grape. It's light, but it's nice. It's not bad. Then I'm pulling into orange. I just love this shade. Putting that on the inner part above my crease. And we are then going into sweet, which is orange as well. Now using peaches. I'm going to give it a little old slow-mo dab-dab. I'm using peaches just to blend those two sort of softly together but I've managed to create some fallout. I'm just cleaning that off now. And Strawberry, which is probably one of my shimmers in this that I quite enjoy using. It's really pretty. I'm just putting that on the outer edge here. And we are doing another halo eye. I'm sorry if I disappoint. I just really enjoyed doing them this week when I was playing with this palette. Now I'm using Sour, which is our shimmery blue for a little bit of pop of color on that inner part to build it in. I don't know if this was a mistake or not. Anyway, here is the look prior to putting any makeup on. And voila, we're back with a full face. It's all listed below. And I'm putting Annette's Makeup Corner's favourite mascara on, the Bad Gal Bane. Then I've decided to go for the Australia Stamp It liner again. I don't know why I decided to show you this all. But this actually goes a bit haywire. Um, I'm using the Fenty Fly Liner and I went very heavy. This is the last time this looked, look, looked alright. Anyway, on to real time proof. All right, so what happened? 
I'm not sure if I got it filmed, but you saw how much Fenty Beauty fly liner I put on. Uh, when I opened, when I closed my eyes, it went everywhere. And it was just a bad time. So I've just done a really simple look. My eyes are stinging already. Uh, this is with the color Orange and Blast. It was the only colors on my eyes and the Bad Girl Bang Mascara over the top. So I bought these in the pre-release ages ago. I got 60% off. So I think they're down to $25 pounds. I forget exactly how much money I paid. Let me check the website just currently. So this palette is currently, as I can see on the website, the Bombshell Cosmetic website is down to $30. I believe it's USD and um, normally goes for $50 USD. Um, there is no scenario I would ever recommend buying these for full price. They just like, they don't bend down and there's no mirror. So really depends on how much that matters to you. But you, every time you use this, it's going to be sitting out like this. I have tried just doing that and it just slowly like opens itself. It smells nice. It's pleasant. And I know that a lot of makeup artists always say that they like colors to be buildable. But I feel like when you're dealing with colorful eyeshadows, buildable is kind of shit. The shimmer formula in this is bomb and I really think it is amazing. I put this on with my finger, but you've seen me do it with the brush without any spray throughout this whole video. And they really cover and you barely do need to do a cut crease and they'll cover the eyeshadow below. And I don't think I'll ever part with this eyeshadow palette solely because of this one color here, orange. You can just see like how orange and neonish that shade is. It is like my absolute favorite. I know it isn't showing up as well as I want it to. Maybe there. It is just bomb and I really hope, I think my first look really showcased it that well. And yeah, I've used two of the palettes now. I've got a three looks one palette with the Sour Blast eyeshadow palette and I had the same problems. The light mattes are just a bit shit. The dark mattes are nice and the shimmer formula is great. I think they are a nice colorful eyeshadow to have in your collection. They are one of those palettes that I feel a bit duped into because I bought them because I was following M.M. Mitchell and he was spruiking them and his eye looks are amazing. So I had really high hopes for this and it just hasn't reached it. I do kind of shoot myself in the foot with <laughs> saying this, which is annoying. I wish I loved every shade in here, but I just don't. These two, as much as orange is really nice, this one ends up blending into that one and it looks the same. But orange on itself is just beautiful. Peaches is a nice skin tone shade to have. And this is like a nice addition shade to sort of add some character to your building with these shades here. But ugh, the matte formula just doesn't do it for me. I've got so many eyeshadow palettes that I have played with. This isn't one that I would reach for unless it was for a specific color that I wanted. Like if I specifically wanted this and I pull out, the orange is going to make me keep pulling this one out. And the shimmers are really nice. So I like this eyeshadow palette. I'm wondering if I should try and do rankings like Annette Makeup Corner does. I feel like giving out numbers is, works well. But I feel like I would need to know what my 10 out of 10 eyeshadow palette is before I could start ranking something like that. And I wonder what I would consider a 10 out of 10 eyeshadow. So I don't think I'm going to do rankings today. I'm just going to share my thoughts on what I thought about it. Let me know, have you tried this brand? Are you interested in this brand? Uh, what you thought of the looks that I created? Which one was your favorite? I kind of liked the last one until I like effed it up. <laughs> and then the shimmers are really nice. It's just that the mattes, ugh, and I just, I wouldn't pay like $50 US for this ever. I don't think this is a $50 palette. Um, $20 or $30? Yeah, for sure. It is a $20, $30 palette, but not $50. I wouldn't say it definitely doesn't hold up to like my Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. It doesn't hold up to Anastasia Beverly Hills. It doesn't hold up to... What's something I've used? Like, it, yeah. It's good and it's nice and it's got a beautiful color story. And if this is your vibe, if these are the colors that you want, watch for their sales because they do have some really good ones and pick it up then. I did have a lot of fun with the colors I created and I do quite enjoy this color story. I just wish those lighter colored mattes were a bit more like, maybe like a, just a bit better. And I wish that, yeah, like I would have loved this if this was a more like 
minty green that like really showed up that would have been bomb as to me but it just isn't it sort of blends to nothing kind of more a white sheer you can see it compared to that orange shade it just disappears um however though if you're looking for like a neonish orange oh my god like yes this is amazing and this is like, like probably one of my favorite shades of all time i've ever come across Anyway, so those are my thoughts on the palette. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Um, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.